Welcome to Linux tutorial. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure load balance by using Apache Web Server. As we know, load balance is a concept is easier to handle high network traffic for your web servers. If too many requests beyond your web server's capacity, this scheme for your web server means your server can't able to handle that much of connections. For this type of scenario, we are configuring load balancing. So we are going to add two or more web servers into the load balancer for balancing the loads between your web servers. For configuring load balancer, we have many type of softwares like HA proxy, pound and etc. So we can able to use any type of software to configure this load balance. So in this video, I am not going to use any type of software to configure the load balance. Here I am going to configure load balance with Apache itself. As we know, Nginx is also a web server and then it can be able to act as a load balancer. Same like we can able to configure load balancer in the Apache web server itself. We can able to configure the load balance easily in the Apache web server. So for this setup, I have taken three machines. Here you can see this is the load balancer machine and then these are the two web servers. Here you can see the IP address for all these machines. This is the IP address for the load balancer. And then this is the IP for the web server. And then we need to have hostname resolution between these three machines. For that, we can configure DNS. If you don't have DNS means, we can create entry in your host file. Here you can see the entry in my host file. This is the IP address and host name for my load balancer. And then to observers, I am going to configure the load balance for these two observers in this load balancer. So I am going to add these two observers into this load balancer. So now let me show you how to configure load balance by using Apache. We need to install the Apache package on these three machines. Type the command n space install space httpd space hyphen y and hit enter and run the same command on both of these machines. Now wait for some time. Now the Apache package is installed on the three machines. To configure load balance, we need running web servers. So let's configure the web servers first. Now start the Apache service. Type systemctl space start space httpd and enable it. And then add the firewall to open the port for Apache. And reload the firewall. Now we need to place default index file for this server. Type in space slash var slash www slash html slash index dot html now here i will write the content as web server one now save and close the file we need to run the same steps on this web server also now go to the sub server and start the service. And enable it. And 
and add the firewall rule to open the port and reload the firewall now place the default index file Now this time I will write the content as web server 2 Here you can see these two web servers have different content then only we can identify the web server after configuring the load balance Now save and close the file Now the two web servers configured Next we need to configure the load balance Now open the load balance submission here also start the service for Apache system CTL space start space HTTPD and enable the service and then add the firewall rule Next, I move to the following directory cd space slash etc slash httpd slash count of d. Now, under this directory, we need to create a configuration file to configure the load balance. Type vim space, type any name for the configuration file. I will type lb dot count of. Now, here we need to create the entry as follows now create this entry here we need to mention the IP address for the load balancer here you can mention any name now save and close the file now this is the Apache service system ttl space restart space httpd now load balance is configured now we can open a browser now here type the IP address for your load balance submission now we can able to see the content from a first observer if you click reload you can see the content for the another observer so this is how we can configure load balance by using Apache Observer. Hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.